Oh, all right, so many of you guys were upset when I told you that I put her back in. Ah! <laughs> First time eating a hopper, what do you guys think? I, oh no, we have an accident. Look at how great Bobby is. Can you believe this guy was almost, I mean, dead? Oh yeah, that's my little dragon. Look at that beautiful, look at that tough walk. Oh, you're, you're so tough. Lagatha, Lagatha. Oh yeah, she wants it. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here and today I've got to feed the monitors and I want to feed them a lot because I'm taking a little bit of a trip. I want to make sure these guys are well fed and here is Slinky's abode. So we're going to spend some time with Slinky and some of the other characters that I have. Man, after the other video you guys saw where I moved Pinky out, a lot of you guys were worried uh, that Pinky was getting treated unfairly. No, not at all. We're going to have her a big cage. If I can grab these. We're going to have her a big cage. Look at this. She's, what, you don't like, you don't want chicken? Come on, bud. I want to get it off the, uh, get off the dirt. Anyway, we're going to have her a big old cage, so don't you worry about it. I don't want to divide this cage anymore because after building it and seeing just how beautiful it is, it really uh, doesn't need to be divided, man. I want to keep it big. Plus, I worked my butt off on this cage, and I just want to relax for a little while. Look at them take this down. These are big half chickens that have no bone in them. Look at that, right down. And like I said, we're going to give him a really good feed today because we want him... Hey, oh, Slinky, like he does not like when I go behind him. Let's get this big old piece right here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, come on. Step up on it. Come on, come on. There you go. Get on your little... Come on, get on the uh, bench, buddy. There it is. Oh, God, he's so big, man. We're going to make him real happy with this food, that's for sure. And you can see where he was. He was hanging out in the water, of course. Really having a good time in this environment. So uh, very excited about the fact that he's got this. You see, when he eats, he gets a little bit um, nervous or he feels very vulnerable because he's contending with a big piece, a uh, big food item. So he doesn't want me to get behind him or anything because much like snakes, you know, they're really interested in eating and they get a little vulnerable. So he might have a little bit of the, you know, little case of uh, not trusting me at the moment. I like getting him really big uh, food items like this because it makes him have to work and chow down on the food and figure it out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right down. Look at that. And I feed these guys a really wide variety. They'll get rodents, they get chicken, they get chicken with the bone, they get fish, uh, the odd snake as we've seen. Um, so these guys are really getting a varied diet, which I think is very important. They get the croc chow as well. And so that really helps with their overall well-being, having a really nice rounded out um, diet. So very important to vary these guys' diets so that they can get all the nutrients from the prey item. Look at that, man. God, it's amazing how he's able to just get this going. Come on, buddy. You'll get it. I would wish he would rather go on the rock. Oop, not a little close. I would wish he would go on the rock rather than wipe it on the ground, but he should be able to pass these little um, orchid bark or topsoil flakes. They're little bits of bark. So, Shouldn't it be that big of an issue for him? Look at this. There it is, right down. Good boy. God, I love him. Now he's got to get it into the stomach. It's right there, you can see. So he's going to just squeeze it on down that throat. Very, very cool lizard. Yeah, man, just been super pumped on how this lizard has been behaving. He's very interested, or interesting rather, living in this large enclosure. Look at him, he's ready for another one. You ready for another one? I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna do it. Let's see, this one should do it here. Oh, he's gonna beat me to it, I think. Oh, there it is. There it is, gone. Good boy. Yeah, I love slinks. And I love Pinky too. And uh, being that I was gonna be heading out I did. Owie! Man, that hurts. <laughs> like I said, doesn't like for me to be behind him, especially when he's got a mouthful. Why'd you do that? Yeah, at least you don't bite the hand that feeds you, but you certainly will whip the hiney of the dude that feeds you. 
Don't know if I like that. Um, I guess it is better than getting chowed down by him. He is just looking so good and robust, huh? Don't you think? Just incredible animal. Yeah, buddy. That's my man. I ain't got nothing else. See, it was once thought that they'd go into a feeding frenzy and keep on attacking you or would attack hands. You can see, doesn't care about my hand. Really just knows the difference between me and food. Although he did just whip me, didn't you just whip me? Oh my God, I love your kisses, man. Slinky kisses, the best kind. Well, don't tell Kate, that's not exactly true. All right, so here we go. Let's get him yet another piece. Like I said, I'm really gonna overdo it here. Really gonna overdo it. I wanna try and get this over here. There you go, bub. There you go, bub. And he keeps bringing it on the dirt. So I think that's like almost two chickens pretty much this guy's eating. Good grief, man. See how he manipulates it. He gets it into a, a good position that he can swallow it. Starts with the small end. Oh, he's gonna try and shake it out. You're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it out. That was a big song a few years back. Come on, dude. There you go. Watch him bring it in the water, man. Look at this guy. I don't think, I think he knows that he can't completely, let's, let's do this. No, come here. Oh yeah, I'm not getting it back. I was gonna, if he drops it again, I'm gonna try and grab it so that we can wash it off. Oh gosh. Now he's going for it now. God slinks. Similar to a crocodile, they'll shake and hopefully their teeth perforate the meat and they're able to break off parts of it. They'll use their claws. They'll pretty much do anything they can to make sure it goes down. So awesome though to see him eat such big meals like this. There we go, bud. There we go. It's working now. See how he just, gosh, he just gets it done, man. Holy smokes, that's great. I think that's gonna be enough for you. What do you think, Slink? You should be full after this, man. And of course, they can still breathe because if you look at the front of, of his bottom jaw, his trachea comes out in the tube. So he's got that tube right at the front. So he's still able to breathe, no worries. And there you have it. Slink did it. Good boy. All right, buddy, I think that's gonna do you for a while. I won't be gone long, man. This should keep him nice and happy. Plus he is gonna get fed while I'm gone. What a gorgeous animal. Sure do love you, buddy. So awesome. All right, let's go give some food to Lagatha. See if she's in the mood for some chicken. See you, Slinks. I think he'd eat more if I, if I could, or if he'd, he would expect more anyway. He is a character. All right. Now, Laggy Lou probably won't I'll just give her one and we're going to find one of appropriate size. Uh, so just give me a second while I do that. Yeah, this, I like this. This one's good because it's slender and it should go down easy if she's in the mood. Lagatha. Lagatha. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl, look what I got, look what I got. Look what I got, look what I got. Oh yeah, she wants it. It's a bird, she'll eat it. Oh yeah, go ahead. So there she is, guys. Look at her shed, nice. Got some nice new yellow and black coming out there. And you can see her body language, see that tail's curled up. But here she goes, she's gonna just start to get this chicken down the hatch. Again, should be no problem, she'll manipulate it. And, uh, yep, see, she's going to just check it out, see which side's which. She knows that it's, like, nice and good tasting. Oh. And what's really cool is my buddy Jerry, uh, who helped me build the enclosure for Slinky, uh, calls me up this morning. He's like, hey, man, I got 40 pounds of chicken that he got from a, uh, you know, a meat seller. 
and um, hey, that's pretty good for us. Look at her, look, she'll use those claws. Look at those claws, guys. You don't think they're sharp? Those are sharp claws. Look at how she's just slicing it. Good stuff, man. Look at those slices, just from those claws. And it's good to give them a larger prey item like this or a larger food item because basically it lets them do this behavior. Look at her. I mean, just look at how great that is, my God. You want them to use all their skills to eat and hunt and do whatever they can. That's why I love larger enclosures for my animals. Even though my little, my little girl here, Lagatha, she's kind of been hanging out. We had a pretty good rainstorm just a little while ago. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. To get one of the ends. So look at this, just ripping. I don't know. Uh, you guys are probably like me and you find this very fascinating to see these animals do this behavior. Um, it is awesome. So I'm hoping you're enjoying this video. Oh, look at this, she's gonna rip a chunk. Look at that. What a girl. There you go, look at that. Little different than uh, our friend Slinky, don't you think? Because she's, you know, a well-mannered girl. She knows you don't swallow your food whole. You gotta make little tiny bits and pieces. Wow, she's awesome. And of course, this is how monitor lizards like the Komodo dragon are able to eat such large prey items. They'll also eat uh, as a group effort. Uh, one may kill a large prey item and then the others smell and they come from miles around the island and they all just feast and gorge themselves. And it's very similar with water monitors and croc monitors. If, if there are other croc monitors in the area and there's a large enough prey item killed, these guys are going to get it. They're all going to get together. But you can see she's having no problem at all tearing up that meat, going right through the muscle there. And she's been a really rewarding lizard to keep just because, you know, it's just such a fascinating animal and they have such a, a reputation and my gosh, you know, just being able to have her here. I can't thank my buddy Tyler enough, man. Tyler Laughlin. Uh, check him out. Inquisitive Raptors on Instagram. He's got some big black throats and a few more croc monitors. Uh, really nice guy and just love the fact that I've had this animal. It's been over a year she's been living here. So we're having fun with her. She's doing great. Um, and you know, I just love the monitor lizards. I think they're really a fascinating and intelligent spe uh, group of reptiles. Uh, that I'm able to, I guess, work with and keep. And look at that, look at her go. Look at how easily she slices through. And I think you could see some of those big teeth right there. There you go, good girl. And the great thing about this is there's no bone right now. Um, normally you would feed, you'd have some bone in there because these guys can digest bone. Uh, they'll digest everything except hair and feathers, similar to a snake. But um, again, this is just, you know, this doesn't happen all the time where it's just muscle. Usually they have, uh, you know, sinew and bone and all the good stuff that's inside the animal, a whole prey item, even some of the organ meat, which is very, very good for them. Um, but right now, they're just, you know, they're little disposals, garbage disposals. So this chicken wasn't going to be fit for, was just expired, okay? Which doesn't mean it's bad. It just means by law they can't sell it past the expiration date. So uh, there you go. It's being recycled in the bellies of these prehistoric monitor lizards. She is a beautiful creature. And of course, she's a lot more shy than Slinky, but no, no less uh, close to my heart. In fact, all my lizards are really close to my heart. And um, I really want to continue to build these really amazing enclosures so that we can give them space. Uh, very, very important. You know, just give these animals the space they deserve and the options within the cage to do the behaviors that they need to either thermoregulating or climbing or 
burrowing, all kinds of cool stuff. Love how she pushes it. She's gonna get this one piece down and then we'll let her finish that other one on her own because we gotta move on to some of the other monitors. Now, I don't think I mentioned it in this video, but I have in others. The fact that their jaws towards the hinge are actually quite flexible. Uh, they can spread out, S not as wide as a snake, but they do have that ability to really open up wide so they can get these large pieces of meat down their bodies, down their throats rather. And she's close. She is close to the end here. See how she folds it and then grabs it? Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on time warp so you guys can see it happen a little bit quicker. Well, there you go, everybody. She wound up finishing it, no problem. There's still some more meat there she's gonna get involved in, so let's let her do that. And then uh, we've got some more work to do as well. Look at how gently she goes. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that whole big piece now? Wow, good for you. All right, we're gonna let her do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get over here. I'm gonna cut up some more pieces for some of our other monitor lizards. I'll be right back. All right, so many of you guys were upset when I told you that I put her back in. Ah! <laughs> there she is. She's back to her spunky self. Hey, girl, come here. What do I got for you? I went ahead and I cut up the chicken a little bit nicer for her. Come on, come on, come on. So she's, she's back in her enclosure for now, but she is going to get a major upgrade. Uh, she is going to get a new enclosure for sure. So don't you worry about it. It's going to be big. I need to have content, don't I? I mean, gosh, I love building enclosures. So she's going to get a big enclosure, our girl Pinky. And I think you guys are going to dig it. It's going to have everything she needs, uh, including space of all kind. So don't worry about our little girl here. I just figured, man, I love keeping the animals in big enclosures. So let's just go ahead and do that instead. Uh, rather than risk it keeping her with Pinky, or rather with Slinky. And uh, this way, I have no worries at all. Look at her go. She's right back to her spunky self. Well, she was still spunky in there. She never stopped eating, which is amazing. So she wasn't stressed out so bad i just didn't want to have any accidents um because it is entirely possible that if she kept on rebuting or re well rebuting is that even a word i don't even know but she kept on uh not accepting the advances of one slinky and uh sooner or later he'd get frustrated and i didn't like the fact that he was trying to find another way into her box so um her hide box that is and so hey man there you go. We moved her on out. So that's one for her. Let's go ahead and see what else I uh, got over here. This piece. No. We'll go ahead and give her this piece right here. 
Hey girl, get you some. There you go. Chick on. Good girl. She's gonna have to figure this out. She's gonna have to switch it around, I think. That's still a pretty darn good chunk of meat right there. I love how they all of them just use the environment to help shove it right down. Listen. Little leaf of a bamboo plant. Oh, a little burping. There's this threshold, if she can just get that piece of meat tucked in, it'll go down nice and easy. All right, kid, there you go. She's fed. Let's go. We have a major milestone here today for Bobby Rubino and for Inky. Since we're doing larger prey items, I'm graduating them to hoppers. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be exciting. So let's see how we do feeding them some hoppers. Let's see if he is out. Where is he at? Where is he at? Yo, Rubino, there he is. He's right over here, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed him from the back door. Maybe two hoppers I think should do for him. Hey, Bobby. See guys, he's right up there. Hey Bobby, I got something for you. Let's try this out. I think he'll be able to take one of these for sure. Look at this, this is his first time. This will be his first time. Here he goes. Come on, first time eating a hopper. What do you guys think? I, oh no, we have an accident. Are you okay? Did you rattle your head? Come on. There you go. Oh, I think he's got this no problem. Now, what I like about hoppers is now these have bone in them. So this is going to have a lot of good stuff for him. This is going to have everything he needs. Good boy, Bobby. Awesomeness. No problem, huh, guys? This is awesome. Bobby's growing up right before our very eyes. He's loving this enclosure right down man no problem all right bob you got you got a little something right there yeah right there right on yeah it's you see it it's right there buddy just kind of can you get that please it's a little distracting no all right no problem then do you want another one come on look at how great bobby is can you believe this guy was almost i mean dead I think he rang his bell. There we go. All right, man. Good boy, Bobby. Wow. No issues. It's a brand new day. No more pinkies for you, buddy. So I've been feeding him fish and pinkies and uh, also some of the fluker. Um, they, they sell the vacuum packed roaches and crickets and grasshoppers. And it's really been a great, um, way to get insects into his diet because i can't keep insects alive here it gets so hot that it's hard to just keep a colony of crickets alive so to have them vacuum pack vacuum pack like that is really good so fluger definitely has a lot of options for me and our partnership with them has been so good uh it's been very helpful so look at him go all right man god i love this lizard look at that squeezing the first one down so they can get the rest down Take a breath. What's going to be cool is when I come back, I'm going to notice these guys are going to be a bit bigger for sure. Let's go ahead. We are going to do another. 
but I'm going to look for a nice small-ish one. There you go. You still hungry? You still hungry? <laughs> I love him with a little tail out of his mouth. I'll just leave this right there and let him do his thing. No issues. All right, Bobby, we'll see you later. Again, how awesome is that enclosure? So, oh, badass. All right, let's go on in. We're wrapping this thing up, folks. We're getting down to the uh, last couple animals that I want to make sure are fat and happy. We're talking about our uh, John and Chevy and Inky. There we go. Hawks certainly are happy. Hey, Guapo, what's up, man? There's no sun out here, buddy, but you're still just going for it, huh? No chicken for you, dude. All right. Oh, boy, John is a shut-in, it looks like. See? Hey there, John. Let's see. He's going to be able to take a big piece of chicken like this this dude is no joke this chicken is a pain in the neck though let's see if we can get him to come out these forceps do not like to grip the chicken Let's see, guys. I don't even know. Is he in there? Oh, yeah, he's back there. He's back in here. He's a little bit more shy. John, John, wake up. Oh, he's not. He's got his head turned the other way. I'm going to just go ahead, leave this right here. And he should sniff it out for sure. Okay. Let's get to our girl. Oh, we got to find her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. Where are you, Pink? Ink. Inky. Inky. No scaring the crap out of me. Oh, there she is. Okay, good. She's right here. So we'll use the small forceps. This is the first time she's going to eat a little hopper. Let's see. Come on, Inky. Up, oh, there was a tongue. There was a tongue. Oh, she got it. She got it. Look at this. Look at that, guys. How beautiful is she? Oh, yeah. Look at her. Oh, yeah. That's my little dragon. Look at that beautiful. Look at that tough walk. Oh, you're, you're so tough. Oh, you're going to go have your... Wait, come... Oh, she's going to go have her meal <laughs> in the back there. Um, <laughs> you know, she's temperamental. What can I say? Oh, how cool was that walk though? She kind of came out and strutted like, yeah, I'm going to eat this thing. So uh, very, very good for us. She took that no problem. And I don't think she'll have a problem eating it as well. How sick. Uh, all right, so what I got to do now is just put some food out for Chevy. John's got his. I guess that's enough, guys. Get on with your day. Have a great time. I got so much more to do around the camp. More videos coming soon. Thank you so much for all your support. As you can see, all my monitors are doing well, and they're growing up just fantastically. And by the way, I'm going to turn this into Pinky's new home. You know how I do things. It's going to be fun. It'll be a great project. She's going to love it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.